As this magnificent creature gracefully glides overhead, it seems to smile, unaware it is critically endangered. Once hunted for their unusual saw-like rostrum and for their fins and flesh, they are now a protected species. The greatest threats to sawfish have been fishing nets and loss of habitat. In the distance, a lone crocodile glides across the Daly River in the Northern Territory. As marine scientist Kate Buckley prepares for a rescue mission to save Australia's largest freshwater fish. Um, we're off to see the traditional owners now, get permission to go out onto their land. They'll take us out and find the sawfish. Water covered this whole area, these little sawfish, they're babies. They worked their way up the stream. And unfortunately, when it started drying out, they got all landlocked. And the rangers here, they um, found them. One old lady found them and um, told us. And so we're going to relocate them back to the main river. Kate and the team from Charles Darwin University travel over 300 kilometres from Darwin to the Daly River. Right, we've met with the traditional owners from the Malik Malik. They're taking us out to where the little sawfish are trapped at a drying up billabong. So we're heading out on the Daly River floodplain. The TOs are in the trippy in front of us and we're off hopefully to save these sawfish. And untangling these feet. <laughs> Is there a way to hold these? Or? Uh, yeah, put his tail between your legs there yeah. and just hold him around the base of the saw near the eyes there. You can even like cover that. an eye with your hand. I'll right, calm down yeah. a little bit. There's something bit at the bottom of me too in the net. I Probably think there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a, what is that, a, a, just a juvenile or, yeah. or a pygmy or dwarf one? No, so this is a freshwater sawfish. I guess it's seven metres long, this one. Oh, okay. So this is a young one. This is just a baby. Their first year, maybe yep. last wet season, one close to one year old. Yep. And they, they live in here four or five years and then go out back out the river, out to sea. Yep. And they grow up at, um, out in the sea. Oh, okay, yeah, so they can just... handle fresh water and salt water? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, no. You've got good shade too. Eh? Yeah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> the boys have got two little appendages just down the bottom near the cloaca there. They're called claspers. They're for hanging on to the girls when they're Mating? Only the boys have them. So I'll take it to the tub now. This is the last of the sawfish out of that pool. Nice big one. Ah, there we go. So that makes a total of nine sawfish from that one pool. Get them back to the river as quickly as we can. Although found worldwide, the northern rivers of Australia are thought to be the last stronghold habitat for the freshwater sawfish. The team have to work fast, as too long out of the water could prove fatal for these already stressed fish, which have been on an extraordinary journey. Before release, the sawfish must be measured and genetic samples taken. Fork length, 900. This data will help conservationists better understand the life cycle of this mysterious species of ray. Five, three, eight. The pups are born live and have a protective gel-like covering over their saw to prevent injury to the mother. As it hardens, the covering dissolves and what appear to be teeth, but in fact are modified scales, are ready to be used for hunting. Clasp the length. Not a great deal is known about the reproductive biology of the sawfish. It is thought freshwater sawfish do not reach maturity until approximately seven years of age. 
Hey. <laughs> if they reach maturity, then they may mate only every two years and have an average litter size of about eight pups. But not all will survive. The team have to get the sawfish back into the life-giving waters of the Daly River as soon as possible. Although the sawfish will face the dangers of crocodiles and bull sharks found in these waters, their survival chances are greater in the bountiful rivers than the drying out billabongs. Okay. Freshwater sawfish are critically endangered. If there is a chance of saving a few juveniles and giving them a better chance to survive and rejoin that breeding population, it has to be worth it. <laughs>